Hi, welcome to class. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And today's lesson is way different than what we've done. I am teaching a summer class at <clears throat> the library. And we are, I usually hand out a template. And these templates are by uh, Ben Walk. And he's given me permission to give them to my students for... Uh, to use in class and but you can also get them on his Facebook page or nation creation and he has lots of templates and this just happens to be the the latest one that he's done and we did it in class because my rooster got eaten by <clears throat> a varmint probably a fox or a skunk or a raccoon or maybe even one of those um, feral cats that we have around our place but anyway so this was done I did the rooster in class for uh, in memory of my rooster and one of my students did this one for me Mary Burroughs and I love it it's a lot like she she loves to color she does a lot with markers and I love this rooster so today we're just going to talk about how to use one of Ben's templates and then you can go to his Facebook page and in the file portion you'll be able to download you one of Ben's many many templates I just chose the rooster today and I started with this uh, flux I did flux for his tail and so that's why you see in class I taught flux and Mary did her flux just a little different um, and uh, and then we did um, and we did shiitake in in his head and then we just kind of went through some of the tangles I said then go just do whatever tangle pleases you and so one of the keys that I did tell them is that Ben has some outlines and I'm going to come in closer on here so you can see. You can see a dark blue line and then some light blue lines. And what I usually tell my students is ignore the light blue lines and just tangle within the bigger spaces. It um, gives you a lot more area you know, to use that you might fine fun. I I started this one <clears throat> and I had printed it off on just regular copy paper which I'll finish up. Then I started another one in class and I usually print on cardstock um, just um, I think a 60 pound cardstock is or 65 pound cardstock is what I use and then I just tangle on it. I'm just gonna do flux here you can see that I drew the double lines and I followed the lines that were on that Ben had done but then there's some slightly blue lines that you can see that I am just going to ignore and I don't think I want this pen I wanted an 01 because I started with an 01 and flux we're just going to go back fill in And remember, you can give it a little sparkle by just skipping a couple of... And you never know how many lines you're going to do in flux because you start with this line and then you backfill in on flux. <clears throat> and then I took... I'm just going to skip around a little bit so you can see his breast wing or part of his wing I'm not really sure what that is I used um, a little tangle called shards by Carol O and you can see I'm just going to ignore the other little square lines in there just put my little 
shard piece. So that's what I chose for that area was shards. And if you can't remember how these are done, I have old videos. You can go back and look at the old videos. And also when I did, oh, let's see if we can scan back out. When I did the tail feathers, I, I did a little, um, behind my flux, I always like to put circles. So I did a lot of circles behind there. And now I'm just going to fill in my whole little rooster with tangles. And so I'm just gonna, and then you can shade and color. I'm really partial to just black and white, but this rooster would be way cool colored. So I'm gonna end the video here, the lesson. Branch out, get that, um, download that, the template from Ornation Creation. You'll find the link below. Give it a try, see what you think, and have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.